Hi, I'm Clark. And I'm Emily. We're on Sailing Vessel Temptress. And we forgot to do an adventure log last month because we were so busy with boat projects. So this month we're going to talk about February and March 2022. Hi, I'm Emily. And I'm Clark. We opted out of a typical American life to live more independently, frugally, and off the grid. We currently travel the world aboard our antique sailboat named Temptress. Each month we sit down to tell you where we are, what we're doing, share the best and worst moments, answer questions, and tell you exactly how much it costs us to live this life. This is our adventure log for February and March 2022. We're still living aboard our boat here in Luperon, and the weather has been really cooperative recently. <laughs> rained and it poured and it helped us find a bunch of leaks and then it dried out so we could fix the leaks then it rained and poured again so we could test the leaks and then it hasn't rained since so it's been nice and dry uh, for our varnish work so it's been really great uh, I know up north the snow is probably starting to melt and you're, and you're starting to get good weather uh, this time of year in the DR we're starting to realize it's gonna be stinking hot really soon mm -hmm. so we got to get a move on and get our projects done meanwhile you're all probably starting your projects up there so <laughs> yeah opposite. But, yeah but the weather's really really been good and um we have some updates for you about the bank manager and the air conditioning the first of the bank managers uh, they, they turned out to be 50 of them and they all sold i guess barring four there's four more available um i have made a tiny change to the design nothing that really affects boats it's more for cars and uh, I have a new version, but the, the, the new design, the main reason I respun the board is it now can handle 48 volt systems. So those few guys that wanted a 48, you'll be able to have one soon. Uh, I've ordered 50 boards. They're gonna arrive probably next week. I will mm -hmm. check them out and get the ball rolling again. And um, I'll probably order a whole bunch more because uh, people seem to like these. We've only gotten two people respond back to us saying it's installed, it's working great, and that was really good to hear. Mm -hmm. So if you've installed one and it's working great, tell me. If you've installed one and it's not working great, definitely tell me. It's yeah. better to fail or Or if you need help early. installing it. Yeah, or if you yeah. need help. We've got the manual, and the manual's being updated all the time. We've designed typos or things that are confusing for people, but we want to make sure it's easy for everybody. Sure. And oh. we're available to talk to anybody. Yes, and also, as you install it, the day you install it, download a new manual, because it might be updated as it goes. Yeah. That's the reason why it's an electronic manual. Yeah. I reserve the right to get smarter. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, air conditioning. Well, the guy that's contracting the air conditioning has everything in-house now. Um, there might actually be a unit coming my direction already. He said he was going to ship it out sometime this week. And when I get it, I will install it in a friend's boat and film the whole process so you can see what's involved. Uh, it's a kit, but um, how it's ended up is the kit isn't going to require any soldering at all. So, yes, it's a kit in that you get to... You buy your own copper tubing and decide how long it should be, but it's all flare fittings, and those are just easy to do. I'll do a demo on those uh, in the video. Yeah, I guess the other projects we've been working on are all boat-related. Uh, yes. You've probably seen our boat renovation series. It isn't doing as well as we thought it would, so we're probably going to wrap that up really quickly in two episodes. But we, in short, we've stripped and sanded all the varnish and all the ceilings and repaired a lot of rot, and we're getting ready to put the boat all back together. Honestly, we couldn't do any other kind of video because we didn't have any place to work from. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we finish this up, get the table back in, I probably will do that electronics, uh, electrical system on a boat series. thing. Mm -hmm. um, see how people like that. <laughs> uh, but... We just need to get our life back organized and under our own control before we can continue. Yeah. It's been so out of control that we didn't keep track of receipts at all during this period. Mm -mm. So you're not getting a financial statement this time. Um, it would have been what it normally is, mm -hmm. except uh, we just didn't care because this is a short term and we went out to dinner an awful lot. Of course, going out to dinner here is not very expensive. Yeah, and we hired Manuel. And we hired a guy. But this is something that I've done once in 25 years. So don't count it as what, this isn't a cruising budget. This is a remodeling budget. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different thing. Yeah, I'll try to see what I can dig up and maybe share some insights next month. But overall, no huge expenses mm -hmm. for us. Um, let's... Well, let's talk about the varnish. You want to talk about the varnish? Yeah. yeah. 
Let's talk about the varnish, because we've been pleasantly surprised. We've got a new type of varnish. We've had a few companies contact us saying, here, try our stuff and tell everybody it's amazing. And we don't do that, um, but we'll take stuff. And if it is amazing, we'll say things about it. If it's not amazing, we'll, we promise to keep our mouth shut. <laughs> That's our policy. But um, Total Boat contacted us a few months ago and uh, asked and heard we were doing some boat projects and asked what we needed. And we said, well, varnish is one of the things that we're looking into. And they offered us, they told us all about the different products that they order. And we chose a couple of them to test. And we found one that's really interesting for the yeah. interior. Um, Emily had a tiny boat, or sorry, a tiny house. And part of doing the tiny house, we used a walnut butcher block on all the countertops. Yeah. And we put, based on some other recommendation from a good friend of ours, we put this water-based stuff on it. And it was hard mm -hmm. and great and wonderful. So Total Boat has a water-based varnish that they they really like and uh, they they wanted to promote. And I decided it's worth the risk because I had that other experience, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, this is better. This stuff is really great. Yeah, and it doesn't smell uh, hardly at all. Yeah. It smells like, like lotion. It smells like a beauty product. It doesn't <laughs> smell like varnish. We would have to have like respirators yeah. and get out of the boat if we There's were doing There's a lot it. of surface area. In fact, we put four quarts on already and we're only half done. Mm -hmm. And all those volatiles would have been available to go into us and mm -hmm. we would have had to have carbon on. It would have been miserable. This was pleasant, but I wouldn't do that. I would put up with the misery because, you know, varnish lasts a long time. But it's, it's hard. Really good. It's yeah. good. It, it was so, it's the easiest thing I've ever had worked with. And it's easy to clean. Like, I spilled it a couple places and I just wiped up the yeah. soap and water. We could wash it. We're using cheap nylon brushes. It prefers and, cheap nylon brushes. And just washing them out <laughs> and washing our hands afterwards. It's such a pleasure to work with. And the biggest thing is that we started here. We went around. The boat, and by the time we got back here, that coat was dry, and you can put on another coat in the same day. You can put on, like, five coats in the yeah, same day. one coat an hour. Yeah. So, anyway, it's really good stuff. Thank you to Total Boat for sending us. Uh, this is the Halcyon stuff. We're going to try some of their other stuff on the exterior and on the bottom. Yeah, they sent us bottom things. paint, too, which yeah. is, you know, usually pricey stuff. So, I'm really looking forward to when we haul out next, put that on. Yeah. Now, um, anything that we mentioned, the stuff, or any product we mentioned, my new policy is this. Okay, that's what it's like to use. What is it like over time? So the description down here, right now it's not gonna say anything, but if, you watch, if you're watching this video a year later, go down to the description and, and I'll say how it's holding up. And if you don't see me saying how it's holding up, send me a, a, a comment on the video and that'll prompt me to get off my butt and keep that updated. Yep. And I think that's the thing we'll do with everything. So anything I talk about that it could be an issue over time, the description will have the, the long- Whether time. it's still the video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I guess uh, intentional living. Last month we did ketosis. We yep. did our ketosis diet, and please. Well, I think we results. We have both have more energy. We both boat work, <laughs> boat work and uh, just slim wax it a little on, bit. wax off, paint the fence. Yes. Emily's been doing her uh, karate kid stuff here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But your back is feeling better. My back is feeling a lot better. I needed the combination of probably getting the gluten out of my diet for the inflammation. And then the exercise of doing all this. But I've, I've gone over a curve. I feel like I felt like before COVID. So that's just so good. I was a little worried that was my, the rest of my life. We have a, a, an older woman friend who said something I think that was just hilarious and, and insightful a while ago. She was hiking with Emily. And she said, well, I've never been this old before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, I've never been this old before. It's good to know that it, I don't have to put up with the pain anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other intentional thing is just this boat project. We know that we're going to be in Loop Run for a little while longer, so we're taking the opportunity, while we're not traveling and adventuring, to get ourselves in ship shape. Get our ship in ship, ship in ship shape. Yeah, ship and it turns shape. out this is, there's very little happening. It's kind of a sleepy little town, but exactly what you need is here. Yes, there's a you guy can get that can stuff get, shipped in. Yeah, you get stuff and shipped in easy. Flavor. Uh, it's like, not rolly. It's blowing like crazy outside, but the boat is very solid. Yeah, what you need above all is half the places in the Bahamas it's a perfectly good anchorage, but if a storm comes, you have to go around the other side of the island. And if you tear your boat apart, you can't do that. But here, if a hurricane came, we would stay right here. So yeah. it, it's, it makes that easier. Yeah. And we found a guy, a woodworker, that can get Indeed. all the supplies we need, uh, and the wood and stuff, that's great. In fact, we might hire him to put new skins on some of the doors that over 50 years have gotten a little rough. Mm -hmm. And uh, labor here is, very inexpensive, so if you need big jobs, come here, mm -hmm. and we'll hook you up. Yeah, good. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see, what else? I guess the best and worst part of the month. 
Um, geez, getting the varnish on mm -hmm. was really a big Making deal. Making progress. Making progress. Mm -hmm. I still have uh, to do some smoothing on the ceiling, but once we get that all smoothed out and sanded again, we can paint the ceiling. Yeah. So we kind of did it this way. We've uh, varnished several coats. Honestly, we just stopped when we, we ran out of product. But uh, that protects the walls. Now we're going to do the ceiling and make dust in here again, then clean everything up and paint the ceiling, and then, then finish the walls. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the worst part, I guess, is being in split up between the two different boat households and not yeah. being able to find a damn thing. Yeah, uh, especially when I'm trying to do a side project involving electronics. It's, oh, I need the other meter. Oh, I need this. I need this cable. So I'm running back and forth between boats way too much. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to say um, living on a boat as opposed to visiting your boat is like always knowing where your corkscrew is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I miss that having one household. Yep. And I think that's probably it for this month. Thank you for um, subscribing and for watching our videos. Thank you to our patrons. We've talked to a lot of patrons this month with yep. various electrical and technical questions. Um, so keep those things coming. Another thank you is um, I did a video. It's kind of the video that got us going. Uh, for a while, it almost looked like we were going to become a, an investment channel. But I did a video on how my investments work and how what my philosophy is. It's how I retired at 36. It just hit a million views. One video. Yeah. That's like That's pretty a cool. big deal for me. Yeah. Of course, Emily, that one that you gave away to somebody else on your tiny house, how many millions is that up to? A lot. But yeah, but we don't make anything yeah. on that. It's on a different channel. Yeah. But anyway, thanks, <laughs> thanks for watching and keeping us growing. And let us know if uh, we're doing the kind of stuff that you like to see um, or if you want us to do anything different. We're happy to share things and we always forget what's unique and actually interesting about, about our lives because to us it's just life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching and we will talk to you next month. Bye. When we met, we knew that we did things differently, but with no regrets, both living life authentically. So we packed up this antique boat to make a life upon the sea. adventure